rich ch 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 cherry bombs. I'm Vera and I'm Alexandra and, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be deciding if love is really blind. So we watched the show on Netflix. It's called Love is Blind. So the premise of the show is that there are men and women and they go into like pods to talk to each other and build an emotional connection so they fall in love with each other without ever seeing each other sight unseen so to start off with the first couple jessica who is 34 <laughs> years old and mark who is 24, 24 years old because jessica's 34 years old they have old. a 10 age difference and her eyes are shriveling up <laughs> that's what she i'm him. 34 years old and he's 24 like I'm 34, you know. I'm 34. Did I say I'm 34 years old? I'm 34. It's such a big age difference. I also didn't know that the show was filmed like a year and a half yeah. ago. Because uh -huh. I thought it was recent, but I did the reunion. I was like, oh, so you guys have been married for a year, a little over a year now. I was like, what? Yeah, so also, at first I thought that Jessica and Mark were really cute because they were both Christians, as they said. Yeah, they had um, an emotional connection and very Mark deep was, emotional Mark connection. Mark really liked Jessica, but Jessica was 34 years old and he was yeah. 24 years old and then there's a 10 years age difference. My 20s were so fun and I just don't want to take oh it away God. from him. I don't think he'd be ready for kids and my eggs are shriveling up, so I need <laughs> to have children like right now. <laughs> <laughs> so no. that couple did not work out. Yeah. Um, but it, it felt like Jessica was forcing herself to like, like Mark. Mark. Or try and like Mark. Yeah, she even yeah. went to the wedding. Like she got dressed up and stuff, mm -hmm. knowing that she's not gonna marry him. Yeah. So. so I found the couple weird, because I feel like Jessica, she never liked him in the first place, but she, like you said, she was just trying to, you know. She liked Burnett, but it didn't work out with him. So she was like, fine, you know, I'll settle for Mark because I want hype and I don't want to leave the show. Which brings us to the next couple, Amber and Burnett. Amber, uh, she's a very interesting she's, person. She's a little much, you know. Well, so is Burnett. With each other, they're good, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like them with each other. But Amber, she's um, slightly obnoxious sometimes. To say the least, yeah. But I'm I'm happy. Oh, um, and the end they do stay together. By the way, so yeah. that worked out. I like their dynamic because I feel like they just like like to have a lot of fun, and they're both you know. They're they're good for each other. Yes. I'm glad they are happy each other. Happy for them. Yes. And then we have uh, favorite Lauren and Cam. They're the best. They are so cute. They were the first couple to propose and to say yes, and I just like I just knew because. Yeah. When they were proposing, I cried. I really did. It was the cutest thing ever. And then we have last couple, Kenny and Kelly. But he always felt like a gay best friend to Kelly. Because, you know, they would like do relationship stuff, but it was very platonic. Yeah, they, no, they would make side. out and then she would say like, oh, I love him, but I don't know if I'm in love okay. with him. And that confuses me. That's yeah. like, that's the American way. Do you think that you can fall in love with a person without Sight ever sorry I see do you think so yeah <laughs> the British do you, think, out. do you think so do you think you could ever do that <laughs> do you think so yes I do think so without ever seeing you yeah but like you can meet but I don't think that I think love is bad in a way that like even if you see them you're not in love with how they look you're still in love with them as a person not necessarily like oh I love your nose oh my gosh oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I think physical appearance can be sometimes a distraction because if you're really attracted to a person physically, you like kind of stray away from getting to know them. <laughs> <laughs> so I do think it possible to fall in love with someone without seeing them, but I think it has to happen over a longer period of time. Well, than I the mean, show. if you're if you're because the show without ever seeing them, what are you gonna do? Like talk in the pods all the time, like <laughs> Jessica and Mark. That's all we have to say about the show. If you haven't watched it yet, so sorry we spoiled everything. For you, but if you think love is blind, let us know. If you think love is not blind, let us know. All the teenagers live is not blind because I only like my boyfriend because he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> this video is coming to an end. We really hope that you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Smash that like button, guys! <laughs> Join the family! Turn on the post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a new video. <laughs> Join the fam. Be a part of the cherry pie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.
we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Boom! And you're like, BAM! What? Get this video to 100,000 likes for us to film part two. <laughs> so this video... Oh, so, so you... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Postman! <laughs>